I might be too bloated to show you my underwear. We spend about $150 to $300 a year on feminine hygiene disposable products according to USA Today. And in Forbes article stated that an average person would experience 450 periods in their lifetime. Think about the plastic and the waste contributed solely on menstrual routines. Hi, I'm Nisa. Welcome to my Conscious Consumer series where we review sustainable brands and products so we could be more to be an intentional and responsible consumer as best of our abilities. Like this video to help this channel out and subscribe if you like productivity, self-care, and lifestyle content too. This is a fact. It's not completely our fault as consumers that our daily routines contribute to the landfills and pollution. It's mostly the corporation and the government's responsibility to set regulations. We buy the things that we can afford to and the things that are available to us. Thought that I would want to make it clear and I want to tell you guys so you guys won't feel too pressured or responsible for climate change because there's only so much consumers can do. Thankfully, with the rise of kind of conscious consumerism and people wanting to be more eco-conscious, there's more brands and products to offer a more green period or eco-friendly periods. One of it would be Diva Cups and reusable period underwear. Personally, Diva Cups does not work for me. Homegirl down there just does not want to accept it. And I am all for normalizing period, period positivity, because it should not be weird. Like this video if you agree. Also, uh, do you like this painting? I am, um, I'm pretty proud of it. I don't really consider myself as a painter or a drawer, but I feel like I nailed it. So I decided to try the period underwear from Thinks. And this is the product that yeah, I'm gonna show you my underwear. Uh, this is the product that I got. I only got one just to try it out. Also, in each episode of this series, we talk about the background of the company, the press, the review, try-ons, and the verdict. So check out the description box down below for the timestamps. The company was founded by three women, three group of friends around 2013, and since then they are fighting the taboo surround by period, menstrual cycle, whatever you call it, and I think that's awesome. According to the company's website, they have a program to give back to the community. Advocating for equity, educating future generations, and access for everyone, which is definitely important. I will leave a link in the description box directly to this page if you're really interested in their um, social movement. And this is a page of them talking about sustainable manufacturing, sustainable and ethical manufacturing. I appreciate when a brand or a company have a page dedicated um, to ethical and sustainable manufacturing because that definitely has an impact. However, I did not see any certifications available. Um, if you work with Thinks or you know that they have certain certification, please comment down below. I would love to know. Personally, I just haven't found them. So I don't know if this is completely trustworthy. I'm generally a skeptical. So having a certification adds more credibility. That is from my standpoint. Also, I don't want to leave this out. I found this in the press and it's basically an article saying how the current CEO saved the company because of the previous CEO's sexual allegations. Yeah, so if you're interested in that too, feel free to check that out. All right, other than the old article, let's look at what the press is saying about them right now. So as you can see, the press seems to be excited for their activewear. I'm considering to try them out. If you want me to try them out, um, just let me know, comment. Just keep leaving comments and suggestions because I read all of them. All right, so this one here is the Super Cotton Brief in the color gray is $39. It says on the website that it holds up to five regular tampons and two and a half regular pads. I've been using this um, 
I've already used this for two periods, so basically two months. It says on the website that they use organic cotton, however, I can't find the certifications and you know how I am with certifications. <laughs> A background of my period, I have a regular period, thank god, it's been so long, thank you uterus. Um, so I would generally use around two to three pads, sometimes four regular pads when it's like my heavy days. It really depends on how ambitious my uterus feel on that given month too. So when I try it, I usually have this on um, in the morning or the moment that I get my period and so far it's been actually great it has leaked and it's only because I personally forgot that I was on my period it didn't feel like damp or whatsoever how it absorbs is super quick that's why I forget the only thing that reminded me that I'm on my period were my cramps and when I'm going to the bathroom like that so I would say I change my underwear like at night. I would wear this the whole day and when I'm getting ready for bed, that's where I just wash it. Now, how does it feel wearing a period pad? For things in particular, um, they don't. it doesn't feel like you're wearing your regular underwear. However, you do feel... it's not uncomfortable, it's not uncomfortable in any way. A word that best described is you feel protected, like you, you feel compact but not tight. So on the first day or the first night, I can comfortably sleep in just my underwear and I know for a fact that it won't leak. I've tried it before, my sheets are white. It has not leaked so far. But I am curious though, I might actually try out other brands as well just to see how comfortable they are and how reliable they are. I would definitely recommend this brand to you if you want your period to be more eco-friendly or you want to lower your waist as well. And when it comes to like washing, it's it's pretty good. There's not much of like crazy stains even though like I said, I did leak. Um, I just toss them in the washer or sometimes I hand wash them. It's definitely really great. If you're into this kind of video, you would definitely love to watch my conscious consumer playlist right over here. Like I said, I have covered Veta, Capsule, Everlane, and even Cotton, all sustainable brands. If you have any suggestions on what other brands I should cover, comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of me. Take care, guys.